Where in the seven hells is this place? Come on, cooperate. Alright. Good, I didn't get dismounted for once. Okay. Um. Moon Guard. You know, I would. What? I wouldn't be surprised if Moonguard wasn't actually near Moonguard. There could be another place around here somewhere called Moonguard, but it's nothing to do with the Stronghold. Or, well, it's not part of the Stronghold. Maybe it's a, some separate thing. It's irritating, in all honesty. And over here. Hmm. I found it! How a motherfucking Luya. Way soon, seem. Huh. For once we found hostile versions of River Fox. Alright. Hurt me more. I don't think they've ever been hostile before. There we go. Inventory is full. That's fine. I do wonder, you know about the Nightborn Refugees thing that person brought up down there? Oh, sorry, they're talking about the, um, this. The Desperate Refugees. But do you know all the people fleeing over here? What triggered that? Was it patches? A change over time? Was it due to rep level? Same with the um, Armored Magistrix. Was that due to patches or time or what? Or rep or whatever. Are they doing like a gra weird gradual change over time thing? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious now uh, as to how Blizzard is doing things for this expansion. Because they are making some doing things differently than they previously have. Previously have such as, you know, hidden raid bosses. You know? Apparently, like I was been saying before, I, this is what I'm hearing. Uh, there's a crystal in each of these places. You click them, you go to Broken Shore, and there'll be a, a hidden raid boss. I think you have to hit some in Broken Shore as well. But, yeah. Apparently that's in the game at present. But, yeah. Also, I do notice how this the, this is Lay Station Aethernar, Aten rather than Moonguard, but... We'll just keep going and see if it works out. But... Yeah, they've been doing some changes. Um, so I'm just curious how they... What they'll be do... Um, yeah. How they're working things. That's all. Because, like, we know the f those fell Blood Elves. Uh, no, sorry, not fell Blood Elves. Those fell Nightborn. Um... The place was just f uh, full of withered. Now it's full. Then it was full of, you know, the foul nightborn. Now it's changed yet again. It's still full of the foul nightborn, but now it's changed. So, you know, I'm just curious what's triggering the changes. Rep level, what? Or is it just Blizzard bringing these in over time? Kind of thing. Just curious. Yeah. The long bloody last will finally be done with the ley lines. Okay. This ley line appears to be damaged and needs repair. Several large chunks of the main column are missing, and arcane energy is crackling in the gaps. The elementals nearby seem to pick up debris and absorb it into their bodies as they move around. Maybe they have the missing pieces. Of course. I, I was hoping that anymore. would the quest item been added to the loot? No. I don't know why this place is called Moonguard. Well, this is down here's Moonguard, and I assume this is the you know the same thing. You know, Moonguard there is this thing. Why is the name different? Because they weren't different in the past. 
you know, like with any of the other places. As far as I remember. What's up with that? Leyline feed fragment. They pulse in synchronously with the larger column. I think I mispronounced that, but meh. I wonder what will, you know, getting all the leyline feeds get us. Also, I'm not going to waste any mana on the buff back there. I don't need it. Huh. Apparently this is considered a more powerful spell. Which I'm glad for. I didn't mean to click it. Still just getting used to this, key, uh, this mouse. Huh. I haven't really used it much in ages. Like I said, I used it once in the blue fucking moon. Um, but I haven't used it dedicatedly since I had my Mac, which is a good few months back. There we go. Halfway done. Whoa, we're halfway there. Please don't sue me. Or please don't sue me for singing your song poorly. I'm sure that's something people can do. Part of me wants to say, you know, I've heard bo bo you know, bullshit lawsuits before, but I haven't. I don't really keep track of that kind of thing. And, you know, bullshit law things, and I'm sure someone would, could do it and, get a w and win. But I have honestly no idea. <laughs> All stuff scares me, so I just don't keep track of it. It just, it's so confusing and shite. But one good thing is, since this one d wants us to fix it up, that means it won't cost any mana. One of the few ones that don't. Nice. No, only they didn't have to fragment. Oi, Elemental, get over here so I can kill you. At least these aren't burly. Yeah, they're actually really weak for their level. They've only 623. Uh, 1,000 hit points. Uh, the, oh, 200 mana is will still the thing. The Lion Feed crackles as wild energy escapes the gaps in the column. As you insert the fragments back into the pillar, the arcane energy begins repairing the cracks. You infuse the feed with ar ar ancient mana, and the, surface, and the structure is stirs to life. Yeah, it is Moonguard. For some reason, they felt a need to name it something else. Uh, you know, in the uh, here than in the achievement. Christ, heart, 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 heart. Just don't want to have to deal with that. So we still have six thousand seven hundred and seventy-five left to what revered, and then getting to exalt it's gonna be a pain. Has this tree grown? Um, I don't think so. But still, it looks different. Oh, you're here. Yes. That certainly looks different. Uh, she doesn't respond. Her expression betrays a deep pain welling within. She hesitates for a moment before accepting the crystals. Leyline Mastery. Mm -hmm. English? Mm. Apparently, fuck off. She's uh, shaking uncontrollably and can barely speak. She tenderly pucks crystals from her hand one by one. And just on principle, I'll give some to him. It gives me some uh, extra rep with them. Anar Amenos. No, no, no. Oh, it is you. Thank you, Outlander. Outlander. This keeps making me think of the Outlands. Though they probably don't know about it. So why are you casting mana at the tree? Oh, this only costs costs ten now. Nice. Leyline Master. You surprised me, Outlander. For a moment I was going to say, you surprised me, Drom Karen, but this is in Final Fantasy XIV. You surprised me, Outlander. During our first lesson about the ancient ley lines, I half expected you to be lost in daydreams of adventure or treasure or some such non nonsense, but you've proven yourself an apt student. Our ley line feed has grown incredibly powerful. Watching it grow has taught me a great deal about the arcane, the nature of mana. I have one final lesson that will help you find even 
more ancient mana. And it further increases your chance to loot additional ancient mana from creatures in Surmar. Perhaps there is hope for Outlanders after all. Okay, and can I do the thing? No, I can't do the thing today. Doesn't miss quick, but not so I should sell anything different anyway. I'll go turn this in over here, I guess. What's these? Statecraft, a growing crisis, and a change of seasons. Quite annoyingly, I don't think I can access any of those at present. I think they might be... ...side quests. Notice how the quests we've been doing for them... Actually, is that even accurate? I'm not sure. I was going to say, um, anyway, look at the top tree, and then look at the bottom, whatever. The, the bottom whatever are side quests, the top three aren't. It's split roughly in half. Um, so yeah. I think I've done all the side quests, and the, right, the, the white white tree are part of the main quest line here that I can't access till I get the right rep. But of course I'm talking on my arse. I have no way of, you know, being certain about that. Kind of done searching for ancient mana for the mo. I know I need more, but oh, I can't bring myself to deal with it. Um, if I, if I get more, I get more. Glory okay. to the Sindorai. Are you ready to learn? Good. Now let's get to work. As I'm sure you've deducted, all the laystone recipes you know can be improved. By learning the, to harness the laystone's true potential, you can reduce the amount of uh, material you use. Uh, you can reduce the amount of material you use and still yield an equivalent result. Here, I'll show you. We'll start as one does with the humble bracer. This particular piece of armor benefits from the addition of brimstone runes. See for yourself. We will have justice. Okay. Uh. You. Goods. So junk. State your business. The reckoning is uh, okay, I missed out on goods. Um. Uh, maybe I should drop the quest. I'm thinking, yeah. Abandon. Victory lies Try it again. Death to all who oppose us. Yeah, I missed out on Infer Infernal Brimstone. There might have been a way to get it here, but I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, it belongs to her, don't steal it. Uh, it's nice that unlike the other things, it, um... You know, they give you the resources, unlike the tail ring. Anyway, the Brimstone Slag has filled in its engraved... If, has filled in the engraved runes. Who cool on its own, or excuse me, or can be trenched... or quickly cooled in the quen quenching trough. Arm guards, the brimstone slag is hardened along the, ex uh, the exterior face of the arm guards. Engraved laystone gar um, arm guards, carved with an intricate rune pattern. Uh, the finished uh, product glimmers with deep seated power and molten brimstone. Warning, slag must be used immediately after heating or it will turn back into living brimstone. Living brimstone. That sounds awesome. I think I should do this first. Okay. Now this. Uh, workbench. Alright. Only 10 seconds to work with it. Damn. Yep, just stand right on the trough. Totally won't go poorly. Anvil and hammer. Okay. Oh, so we didn't need the second one? I guess that's if you botch it. The f uh, first time. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. Uh, keep it up, Paladin. Solid work. 
At least known as a fickle metal. Its arm guards be uh, sorry. its arm guards benefit from the addition of brimstone, but to improve the production of shoulder pads, enchanting dust, helms ben benefit from on uh, carved gemstones, and so on. Let me read that again. Uh, Waystone is a fickle metal. Its arm guards benefit from the addition uh, from the addition of brimstone, but to improve the production of shoulder pads, enchanting dust, helms benefit from. Helms benefit. Uh, helms benefit from uncraft, uh, uncarved gemstones, and so on. All right then. When working with foul slate and demon steel, one must use special equipment, specifically an anvil hard enough to withstand the energy given off when foul slate is hammered. Uriel and I no longer possess such an anvil, but your friends, the High Mountain Torn, do. Gain access to the Firmament Stone, their sacred anvil. We can start working with demon steel again. Keep your wits about you. In that case, let's head back to Dalran. <laughs> Suppose I could have just gotten a ride from uh, where I was. I was near enough to a fight master, but eh, can go take a look back here. Go have a look at my garrison. Garrison, um, order hall. And actually, one thing I'm thinking: the order hall now really does feel a bit empty without the. You know, quests going on there. It's just like, what's the point in going back? I guess there's some shit going on there, but it just seems. Well, there's a lot, like, lack, I mean. But in 7.2, I'm sure they'll add in more quests for it and give it something again. Otherwise, you know, they, they've kind of killed one of the draws, like the class emphasis in this expansion. Looks like you've been busy down there, Miner. Uh, this came out of a f uh, out of a cliffside seam. Remember, you can't mine seams like you mine deposits. Totally different thing. I'll show you me uh, show you my trick. The felsmiths. Uh, even knack for for this. Uh, even knack with this fell slate lad. Best ship you off to someone who knows uh, knows the stuff better than I. The Eldari have a knack with all things demonic, really. And I've heard about a few miners who set up shop outside. Uh, uh, who've set up shop out near the demons in Surmar. Uh, pay ye a visit, see what they have to teach ye. <laughs> I was right there. Didn't think she knew mining as well. Kind of weird how she's working with a demon, but alright. Yeah, I'm still just puzzled over that, personally. Hmm. I'll have a chat with her. Uh, later on. Okay. <gasps> Finally, more stuff. I wonder. Kalik, what's up? My apologies for the unannounced intrusion, Pal Nye. Do, um, do you have a moment? The power within your weapon has grown exponentially as you fought the Legion, but I cannot help but wonder if there's something more hidden away within, perhaps even a new f uh, form entirely. The very thought demands we find out for sure. You are familiar with the ancient blue dragon Senegos in Azuna, yes? Meet me, uh, meet me at his repose once you are able, and we'll discuss more. I will meet you at the repose shortly. Travel well. Okay, to Azuna we go, I guess. Uh, you. How are you? Pass out another one. Where even is the research? It should be kind of hard to miss it, but yet I'm succeeding. Ah, oh, here it is. It's even fucking glowing. Um, oh, she said actually said some. This weapon of yours has proven to have had quite a colorful past. I added some new translations to the tome if you're interested. Um, here's the last bit about it being a untold weapon of untold vengeance and devastation. So it is written that when confronted by undead forces, High Lord Alexandros Morgrain dispatched them with ease. The blade in its hand felt like an extension of his own flesh, a beautifully lethal instrument of pure destruction. And as it carved a swat through a scourge enemies, this new weapon felt naught in the aftermath. Sorry. Uh, and as it carved a swat through its scourge enemies, this weapon left naught in the aftermath but charred bone and swirling ash. Thus, 
the Ashbringer, given it uh, thus.